say we have a spring and we want to stretch it out and put some amount of energy in that spring and uh, we let's say we're given some k value for the spring and let's say it's a pretty heavy duty spring uh, maybe 500 newtons per meter and its rest length is here and now we're going to stretch it out to some distance x and we want to see how much energy is in there and let's say that we want a specific amount of energy. Let's say that the energy in the spring, we want to be 100 joules, okay? Let's see what that X needs to be in order to accomplish that. Okay, it's not too bad, right? We know what the energy in a spring is. You can integrate Hooke's Law to calculate that. Or you can just remember that it's one half kx squared, where x is the, the stretch distance, right? Starting from the rest length, stretching out from that point. We can solve this for x, right? Multiply by 2, divide by k, take the square root. I get 2 energy in the spring, u sub s, divided by k. And then that whole thing, I have to square root. And now I have all those numbers. So we've got 2 times u sub s, which we said was 100. We're going to divide by k, which we said was 500. This becomes the square root of 2 over 5. Square root of 2 over 5 is what? Well, 2 over 5 is 0 0.4. And that's got to be pretty close to what? I don't know. Let's run it and try it. Okay. 2 divided by 5, we said was 0 0.4. We're going to take the square root and we get 0 0.63. Remember, this is SI units, so this is meters. And so that stretch distance is going to be 63 centimeters. Okay. Which is a pretty far stretch, but 100 joules is a decent amount of energy in that spring. All right, hopefully that's clear. Cheers.